me. You leave me alone. All right, you heard what she said. You leave her alone. No, wait a sec. Just listen to me. Just for one minute, okay? If you're going to take one step closer, I'm going to call the police, okay? I, I don't understand any of this. Okay, it's like a nightmare. I might never see my own child no. because of... And what about Vicky? Does she deserve any of this? I'm taking you to the Does she? Michelle? Robert. Robert. No, Peter. No, you listen. listen. No, she's no. done something to Vicky, yeah, and I need to find out what that is. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. It's the perfect revenge. Think about it. No, I, I cheated on her, which I did, yourself. and then she Michelle, stops me getting the about. one thing I Michelle, want in this life, my child. Right, calm down. I sang at Chesney's Little Ones, and I'm not kidding, they were hypnotised. People have paid good money for a service like that. Well, that's what I thought. A nice little sideline. Burn a few CDs, sell them to parents, quit a time. You go for it, Kirky. This time next year, your name will be on the rich list. Robert, Michelle, just wait. What? Just what? wait. Don't Robert. be like that. I'm not going to hurt you. Well, keep your distance, then. She's got witnesses. Johnny, please. I just want to know. I want to know. What have you done with Vicky and my baby? Nothing! I wouldn't harm them. Surely you know that. OK, so where are they, then? What's happened to her? You need to calm down, pal. Michelle, come through to the back. Michelle, I have to talk to him in private. Hey, Robert, two minutes, down. that's all I'm asking! Leave her alone, sir. Step away. Let go, man. Let go. <sighs> you know, we walked into the bistro, right? She was absolutely terrified. Robert's got a lot to answer for. You know, it just makes you wonder, don't it, when you see somebody that scared. I mean, do you know? We saw Kirk. He said Robert went crazy. What? Man, was he attacked you? He only wanted to talk. Oh, please don't stick up for him. You asked me, he's lost his flaming mind. Mum, he's not hurt, was he? Police took him away, so at least he's out of the way for now, eh? Are you sure you're OK? I'm fine. I'm just, just a bit shaken up, that's all. You know, when they first accused him of hurting Vicky, I thought, nah, no chance. She pushed him to the limit, didn't she? I mean, who knows how far he'd go to shut her up? Right, well, you're the one that knows him best. Huh? I reckon it's time to speak up. Yeah, he's right, you know. He needs to go to the police, and he's telling exactly what you know. Are you all right? You don't look so clever. I'm a bit drained, actually. It's not easy having some policewoman pick over the bones of your life. Yeah, all the same. I hope you told her everything. I did, yeah. Not very proud of myself. What, well, you've done nothing wrong? It's about time you told the truth about that waster. Yeah, finally get what he deserves. Do you want another drink? Glass of red. I'll make you something to eat if you like. <clears throat> I bet you've not eaten all day. No, Ta, actually, I, I, um, I really want some air. I'm gonna go for a walk. Mm -hmm. I'll come with you. No, no, it's fine. I, I won't be gone that long. I just, uh, just need a bit of time to myself, you know? Okay. Take care. <laughs>